Pescoço. Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing, just win, baby. What is good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Alex, back with you. Another video for you guys. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider-related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one. Without further ado, let's jump right into the topic of this video. The Las Vegas Raiders last season lost a big contributor in the linebacker group and middle linebacker Denzel Perryman. Denzel Perryman was a good run stuffer and a hard hitting physical linebacker. The Raiders in response signed linebacker Robert Spillane from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Spillane didn't have a whole lot of snaps to start the season last year with the Steelers, but he worked his way up the depth chart and by the end of the season he was playing a lot of meaningful snaps for Pittsburgh and he started to play for them at a high level. The Raiders ultimately ended up giving him an offer that he could not refuse and that the Steelers could not match. They ended up signing him to a two-year, $9 million contract. So look, how does Robert Spillane fit in this team? What are his strengths and his weaknesses? Look, without further ado, let's jump into some of his film. And the first game we will analyze is against the Las Vegas Raiders last season. Robert Spillane played a huge part in the Steelers' victory over us last season. He had a great game, recorded about 12 tackles. And this game may have been a big reason why this regime decided to go out and pursue him so heavily in free agency and offer him a contract that he could not refuse. The first play here we can see Robert Spillane does a good job getting in the backfield able to get past center Andre James block and absolutely stuff the run. Here he shows he has good discipline and awareness to not get fooled by the play action but he's unable to make the open field tackle on Devontae Adams. Another good downhill play, stuff on the run, and just a good play that allowed the Steelers to set a tone on their defense. Right here, matched up and pass coverage. I do like the man to man coverage here on a running back, Josh Jacobs. Now, Robert Spillane is just a very physical linebacker. He also has the ability to come down on a blitz. Just look at the push he's able to generate up the middle and gets right in Derek Carr's lap. He forces an uncomfortable throw by him, which ultimately led to an incompletion. Now, really one of the parts of Robert Spillane's game that is the biggest question mark is the coverage ability. Here he draws back into coverage into what uh, very quickly turns into a scramble drill for the Raiders. He does a good job identifying Hunter Renfro as the closest man, but he loses him in coverage. Now Spillane doesn't make the tackle here because this play gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage, but he does a good job getting off of his block and he was in the perfect position right here to stop the run if it went past the line of scrimmage. Great play right here helping out and run support. He's patient running laterally until he has the angle to come up and make the play and get the tackle on Josh Jacobs. Good play here against the run. Spillane does a good job moving laterally before the block from the tight end which allows him to seal that edge and ultimately make the tackle. Once again, good play against the run. Playing as a weak side linebacker able to fight through the block and make the tackle. On this next play, a very similar play, he can get past that block from a tight end consistently from what I've seen on tape, and overall he's a pretty sure tackler. Now good recognition here, does not fall for the read option, and I love how fast and decisive he was coming to the line of scrimmage, and he ends it with a good physical tackle able to stop the quarterback read option he has the ability to make the pulling offensive guard miss and he just gets a good stop right here Spillane just has a knack for getting in there and stopping the run his instincts and the overall physicality he has helps him a lot in this aspect 
Spillane here is matched up in coverage against a tight end. He gets physical with him in the initial contact, but it ultimately ends up working against his favor as the tight end just bounces off of him as it is a pass play and not a run play. He's able to get the quick reception. Look, not terrible coverage whatsoever, but being physical and relying on that will not help him out in coverage more often than not. On this player here, this is a play that I did not see happen very often in his tape, but here he just absolutely gets dominated by the pulling offensive lineman, and he completely gets wiped out on this run play. Now he drops back into pass coverage here, and it looks like on this play, he gets fooled by a play that appears like it's going to be some type of play action, screen play. He steps up, anticipating that short pass, but instead they hit their tight end wide open across the middle where Spillane should have had a little bit more patience and more depth in his zone until the quarterback actually threw the ball. Looks like he got a little bit too excited on this play and it costed them. Once again, against tight ends in the run game, he can easily get off the block and come down and make the tackle in the run support. And here, I like this play. Spillane did everything right, getting to the quarterback, creating some pressure, except for he was unable to make the tackle. Gotta come up with that play. So Raider Nation, overall I really like Robert Spillane's physicality and his ability to diagnose and ultimately stop the run. Now when it comes to pass coverage, that's where we will have to, that's where he's going to have to improve on. Last season with the Pittsburgh Steelers, mainly they just had him covering running backs where you know he ultimately did a pretty good job doing that. I think he should have no problem covering running backs out the backfield but to be honest I don't know how well he will hold up against tight ends in the National Football League especially the more athletic tight ends and most definitely wide receivers and pass coverage which at the end of the day isn't a huge surprise to me you look at linebackers throughout the National Football League like 90% of these linebackers cannot cover but that's something to keep in mind with Robert Spillane. Overall, he seems like a, a pretty high IQ, smart football player as well. And as we've seen throughout the theme of this offseason, this regime loves players with these type of characteristics. And ultimately, the linebacker group will really depend on a collective effort from Spillane, from Divine Diablo, where we're really hoping he can take that big leap into year three and ultimately to stay healthy and stay on that field. Luke Masterson too going into his second year in the league too. We're gonna have to see how he develops as well. But all three of these players will have to play a big role and improve going into this next season. Look, overall, I like Robert Spillane, but I'm not necessarily in love with the pickup. He does provide a lot of good things, and I like what he provides to this team from a physicality standpoint. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of linebacker Robert Spillane. Anybody that's new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. That being said, I will see you guys in the next one.